Welcome to Assist College of Arts and Commerce. This is Assist Edupedia. Myself, Assistant Professor Sunil Chha. Today, in this particular session, I would be covering up the topic called Cyber Law and the IPR, the syllabus, and few topics related to Unit One, Unit Two, and Unit Three. The class for which this particular topic called cyber, uh, this particular subject, that is Cyber Law and IPR, is there is Class TYCS of Mumbai University, and the semester is Semester Six. students uh, i like to inform you about the course according to mumbai university the course of the cyber law ipr provides the comprehensive understanding about the legal aspect and the regulation therein of the cyber space and the information technology the information technology act 2005 the acts related to copyright patents trademark or the design or the geographical indications are been correlated with the uh, digital issues the course covers wide range of topics including the basic concept of internet technology network security cyber law e-commerce electronic signature cyber law privacy intellectual property rights and many more students will explore the legal framework of the governing cyber law and develop an understanding of the legal and the ethical issues associated with the information technology in this particular course now coming to the course objective what is the objective of the cyber law and the ipr in sem 6 of tycs it involves the understanding of the fundamental concept of the cyber law and the relevance in the digital age they it will help to examine the legal framework and the regulation of the cyber law including the information technology act in 2005 to explore the key issues in the cyber law e-commerce e-governance and the electronic records and the contracts further it will also gain the students will gain the knowledge of the cyber crimes enforcement mechanism and the role of the cyber appellate tribunal so whenever the cases been filed in the cyber police station will go to the cyber court and whether if the person is not satisfied they will go for the appeal at cyber appellate tribunal it will also the course will also analyze the emerging issues of the cyber law including the liability of isp internet service provider the privacy concerns according to the privacy law and the jurisdiction expects whether it is national or it it was as per international law according to the burns convention the course will the students will understand the intellectual property rights and on the online regulations including the copyright patents and the domain name and their disputes if any coming that was the course outcome now coming about the learning outcomes about this particular course called cyber law and the ipr after the su successful completion of this course the students will able to demonstrate the comprehensive understanding of the cyber law and the application of that into the digital age they can evaluate the legal framework and the regulation governing the cyber law the amendment then time to time it will identify and assess the key issues of the cyber law such as e-commerce e-governance and the electronic records and the contracts understanding the cyber crimes enforcement mechanism and the role of the cyber appellate tribunal and also will analyze the emerging issues of the cyber law including the liability of the isps internet service providers and the judicial complexities they will also recognize intellectual property rights on the regulations including copyright patent trademark and the geographical indications coming to the course the content in it unit wise there are only three units first unit it would be related to the introduction of the cyber law and the technology in the second part it would be the basic concept of internet advantages and disadvantages of the internet technology network and network security today in this session i would be covering up this two aspect that is advantage and disadvantage of internet and network and network security legal framework of the regulation that is cyber law and the components of the cyber law cyber law in india the overview of the information technology act cryptography encryption mechanism and algorithm and the digital signature and the electronic signature so there is two different things but the difference between the digital signature and the electronic signature the key issues in the cyber law that is e commerce e governance e records and the e contract would be informed and the students will be able to learn as well as the regulators who are the certifying authorities and the electronic certificate signatures coming to the unit 2 uh, that is the second unit which is there in the course the students will uh, make understand the cyber crimes and the enforcement directive cyber appellate tribunal where the cases can be appealed or the cyber crimes visa based the contravention cyber offenses and the power of the investigation and the search e evidence and the computer forensic so in this uh, i would be speaking of the computer forensic which is the latest trend the emerging issues and the legal consideration would be also spoken about the isp intermediaries not to be liable in certain cases constitutional amendments in the various convention laws gray areas of the information technology 2005 and 2000 uh, 
as well as what we speaking about the jurisdiction and the privacy issues related to cyber jurisdiction e-commerce privacy of online data and the information coming to the unit 3 that is the last unit and the tycs mumbai university the course cyber law and ipr the students would be learning about the ipr intellectual property rights and the online regulations the free speech and online and the online freedom of speech and expression and the liability of the intermediaries would be also learned students would be learning about the intellectual property rights or copyrights and the patents also the students will be learning about the international and the indian senior of copyrights the digital medium and the patents issues in the digital medium the students would be also learning about the dispute and the dispute resolution method followed with the domain name disputes and the resolution and the trademark issues in the digital medium and the spamming and the phishing of the offenses committed by the any persons so students would be learning about unit 1 unit 2 and unit 3 that is the course of mumbai university of the cyber law and ipr which is there in sum 6 of ty bsc computer science now speaking about the few parts which i told you about unit 1 i would be covering up in this particular video what are the advantages of internet Uh, the person can send uh, easily email from one person to another so that means saving the time as well as the uh, the cost of involved in it finding the information anyone can find out the information through the uh, through the google or through any of the search engine the communication becomes very simple when we send the messages through internet or through whatsapp or any any media like insta or any uh, twitter or the facebook online shopping is become easy to the, the advantages of internet persons can sit at one place and can buy the goods from one place to another entertainment is also done so many people can watch the movies through ott platforms or can watch the news or anything from your cell phone uh, this student those persons who are uh, very good in the games they can easily play the games online making online payment which is very very need of the day the person no need of going to the bank a person visiting to the bank is costing to the bank rather than the person sitting at home and doing the online facilities of banking would be saving the cost to the bank so the persons who are the consumer or the customer of the bank and the persons who are working with the bank they would be preferring that the customer should do the online banking system that means the customer can do, do the payment through qr code they can do the payment through internet banking they can make the fd they can what do you call dissolve the fd through online mode same thing applies for the taking of the medical insurance or through the life insurance there is abundant information so the persons who are you know, doing the research they can easily take the information from the internet that is the best part of the internet of the advantage of internet and there is global connectivity that means a person from india can connect to any person from czechoslovakia or it can be convert can have a contact with uh, the persons who are in new zealand or australia within a fraction of second so this is basically the advantages of internet what are the advantages and disadvantages of the internet out of speaking in short uh, that is uh, flawless communication that it can easily go to the person the receiver to the sender without going without wasting time online education is become simpler during covid 19 many people had done the online education and the persons who are working they can also go for coaching online uh, during the during the days when they don't want to travel and they want to sit at home and i also understand the coaching there is e-commerce and online services that person can buy the goods the person can sell the goods online and there would be online service that we can easily book the vehicle sitting at our home that is like ola service or uber services abundance of information that as i told you entertainment we can watch movies we can uh, watch the web series sitting at home social networks the person can connect with each other through the social network platform like that is uh, twitter it is uh, called as facebook or any other networking site like instagram there is online banking the person can sit home and do the banking services and video calls and web conferencing during covid 19 we had in company act 2013 that is a landmark judgment that the meetings can be conducted online whether it is societies meeting or it is meetings related to your what is called as company shareholders meetings or extraordinary meetings or it is board meeting or annual general meeting what are the disadvantages of internet that would be internet addiction the person can easily become addicted to the internet the persons so we are seeing many school children they are having the cell phones those persons who are uh, sitting up, uh, with their family friends and having the food still they are not speaking or communicating with each other just uh, watching on the movie or uh, watching the movies on the with the phones within their phones and there is a less number of communication between them because everyone is busy with their own phones in their hands whether you are traveling in a bus or a train or when you are sitting with your family friends each and every person is using the phone that means we are addicted to 
uh, the uh, the internet access to wrong information the small child can easily become a victim of the wrong information which is shown as a adult content theft of personal information uh, that would be also related to the persons who are doing online shopping the persons who are being give, to whom we are giving the data we are uh, less assured that the information not be uh, kept secret it may be theft by other persons there would be any spam images or spam messages which be coming to you and there is also threat of the viruses some sensitive information or the vital information would be leaked when we are not having the trust with the other persons who are working in them there is a wastage of time because the person won't be doing any exercise because they would be sitting near the laptop or through the phone and they would be uh, don't having they won't be having some recreational activities that would be also related to the health issue that is the obesity that the person sits for a longer time without doing exercise they would be having the health issues or the issues related to obesity coming to the next part that is called network security so students in this particular slide i would be speaking about the firewall which has been called as a network security the we have that we have that we have that is ids that is called intrusion of detection system followed with antivirus software so for any type of uh, function or any type of uh, program we need to have antivirus software followed with encryption there should be always an encryption of the data followed with the data loss prevention that is the, uh, the loss should be prevented that means it should be filtered and there should be secure communication with the security of the policies which should be mentioned with the programs or with the programs which are been sold or through the apps which are been sold the policies has to be mentioned students i would be also speaking about the network security further in detail what are the nine elements of the network security what is network firewalls intrusion prevention system unified threat management system advantage of the network protection threat protection uh, the network access control that the access of the network should be controlled it should not be given to all person it should be given only to the limited person cloud access security brokerage and the, uh, we have network uh, behavior anomaly detection and the sdn wn security purpose are deal with the network, network security coming to the network security once again i would like to inform you the business or ne network security consists of the rules and the configuration in the place of the secure and accessibility and the integrity of the computer network thus protects from hacking misuse and unauthorized changes it may also lead to analyzing of the network security planning of the network security designing of the network network security after designing it should be implemented followed with the operational uh, manual which should be given to the person and ongoing training should be always done for having a good network security uh, if you students if you see in this particular slide i would speak out what are the different types of network security devices the first is firewall followed with antivirus as i told you about ids called intrusion detection system unified threat management system wireless intrusion prevention and the detection system is the new one of the devices which is there in the market which is followed with nac that is called network access control network load balancer if there is a load in the network that should be balanced properly that is called network load balancer followed with the web filter there should be filtering of the different websites which is unethical which is against the law followed with the spam filter proxy server vpn virtual private network gateways followed with email security gateways that means the email should be secured we shouldn't get any type of spam or the mail, uh, the mail should be filtered and coming to your inbox content filtering uh, content filtering devices should be also been utilized as uh, network devices and network device backup and recovery so for a particular system there the most and foremost very important under the network security device is network device backup and recovery coming to the next part of the network security the aim of network security is to prevent and monitor unauthorized access modification misuse or denial of a computer network and the network accessible resources we have worldwide service dedicated team domain expert and prime quality would be also related to network security coming to the aspect of network security we have privacy for a network security the privacy should be utmost taken care the message integrity should be there the whatever the message will be going from public to the private key or the encryption of the message should be proper and systematic and there should be authentication of the message the message should not be done or mischief by the third party and there should be no repetition of the particular content which is mentioned in the email coming to the network security management 
tools. Students, in this particular slide, I spoke about the network security devices. In this particular slide, I will be speaking about the network security management tools. First is firewalls, followed with anti-mail, intrusion detection and prevention system, followed with VPN, that is virtual private network, is a program that encrypts the data and sends the leads to the public and less secure network and tenuring protocols has to be mentioned. And there is the last one is called as cloud-based security tools. Students, uh, these are the particular tools and the techniques related to top five network security which has been followed in banks, all almost in the all online shopping of uh, the particular webs which are there. What would be Metaspoiled, Nesrus, Argeus, Wireshark and the Aircrack. So, in this way, in the coming out, in the future videos, I would be so explaining this in detail, which company uses which particular techniques and tools for the safety, whether it is of uh, the Disney Hotstar or it would be Z5 or any of the news channels or online shopping companies, which particular techniques are being used, I would be explaining in my forthcoming slides. Thank you from my side, students, in this particular data, I would have spoken about the syllabus of TYCS that is related to cyber law and IPR. Also, I have spoken about the advantage and disadvantage of the internet and the network security. Thank you from my side.